Hello everyone and welcome back. It's me Department. I'm so glad you could join me for another video today, guys. So we're back in Popping Simulator. There's been a new update to the game, bringing a new world, new pets, and a lot of other things, guys. So we're gonna jump right in and cover all the features, and I'm gonna of course give you the update on my character at this time, guys. So a lot of cool things have been added to the game. So I'm hatching the best magical egg right now, as you see on the screen. It's called the Lake Egg. It, it costs 10,000 magic coins right now. And the easier one, the enchanted egg is only 300. But the good thing is they both have that juicy immortal that we all want to hatch in them. So there's been a few of these hatched so far, not by me, but I did hatch some of the rainbow exotics, I think from this one right here. So I'm going to show you all that and everything. But just so you know, in order to get in here, you need to be at the last area of the magma world, guys. And you'll see a big portal right here, this bad boy. So you're gonna need to walk up to it. It does cost only 1 billion magma tokens. Bruh. It's actually not that many. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more, but they made that very friendly. So here we are now, it's a purple zone. It's called magic. And right now there's only two zones, but that's really all we need to get the coins and stuff rolling so we can start hatching and all that stuff, guys. So you'll also notice above my head, there's some icons. So they added some leaderboard uh, icons to actually show everyone how progressed you are if you're on the leaderboard. So it kind of gives you a reason to grind the leaderboards if you want a flex. So I'm on three of the four. I think there's um a fourth one up here for, I don't know what it is. I think it's for the levels climbed in the dungeons actually is what I think it is. But as you see, I'm number 19 on eggs hatch, number five on uh, diamonds owned and number 61 on the dungeon damage itself. So I didn't even think I was that high on that one. So doing pretty good. In addition to that guys, there's some also cool stuff for being a partner. I'm just gonna show you because a lot of you won't actually have access to this, but as a partner, we do. So there's a new partner chest right here you may notice in the area. So it's a two day spawner. Every time you open it, what I got this time was seven tickets over here and I did get one exclusive egg to open. So I also got another one as well. So we'll be opening both of these today, seeing if we get lucky. 2.5% chance on the immortal, actually pretty good. And while we're in the setting, something else I wanna show you is down below. We finally have profile stats. This has been a suggestion that everyone has wanted, right? So you click on it and now I can show you my stats, guys, and you can check your own out. So you can see all the coins I've hatched or collected from all the different worlds, the total gems collected, tickets, seven. My prestige level is maxed out at 50, guys. I've collected 160 different pets. And then look at the playtime. I was surprised. 38 days, 6 hours. I didn't know it was that long I've been in this game. Oh my god. But we've crafted goldens, all the robux spent, immortals hatched. I've hatched 6. All the hatching, eggs open, bags, all the good stuff, dude. It shows you your multipliers. So if you have server boosts going or potions pop, that actually updates to show you. So that's nice so you actually know what's going on. So very cool stuff there. Something else I should show you real quick are my current uh, awards. I'm still 19, guys. I still need to hatch more mortals and do the things that I haven't finished yet. So this hasn't gone up since last time, guys. But let's go ahead and jump back to the world over here. We have spawn world, magma world, and new magic world. So there's also new skills, as you'll see in that menu. It shows you the two different um, resources you could collect. And it does make a new skill that is actually a little stronger. They even put a skills thing in this world so we don't have to go back to the original, which is awesome. So the skill it is right here is called Magic Vines. It gives 2,000, 2 2.05 thousand damage. So it is the best one in the game now by a good amount. So you're going to want to collect it. What it takes is 40,000 gems, 30 of these skull dudes, and 15 of the flowers. So you'll be able to get that. And I can't wait to actually see what that looks like. So this is the best one. Also, it looks like they nerfed the beaming drones yet again, I think, to 1.25% damage. Just keep that in mind, guys. So that's that right there. There's no new dungeons or any leaderboards in this world at the moment, but that is quite all right. The world does look cool, but something else is the rainbow machine right here. This thing actually looks really good. They did a good job on the machine, but it works as you would expect. You put your goldens into this bad boy right here, and... Well, after six of them, I guess I have a chance to make this guy an actual rainbow. So I can go ahead and craft that right here and bam, success. So now I can show you my pets. So I just made this guy right here, the magic, magical axolotl rainbow. There's 15.75 million damage in rainbow form, guys. But I also have the exotic uh, right here, the exotic enchanted stag. This is from the first egg, it's 18 million. And the golden exotic from the best egg is 19.83. So as you see the difference here, here are the stats. So these right here are from the first egg, the exotic rainbow does 18 million and the golden uh, exotic, whatever this guy's called right here, is the one right here that does 19. So imagine him now when he's boosted up 
he's going to be twice as strong probably around 40 million so that's going to even help and as you see here are my immortals i hatched a couple more since last time um so i'm looking pretty good on this i got a couple sharks a couple stags the ant the nightmare terror and the goat so i'm still working on getting more i haven't got that very first jungle alligator yet for collection but that's okay i have a bunch of uh exotics in here so if you want to see the best exotic max is out at 10 million guys then we have i think some magics down here four million for the magic i believe yep four million from the magic from this egg that's the stats on that one and we're going to give some of these away potentially today and that's really all i have going on with that one right there so my prestige like i said has been maxed out at 54 a while now gives 100 percent damage coins and 25 percent luck bonus always a great thing but also something that's new is the pet collection so now that we have rainbow possibilities guys if you scroll down you'll see after 200 you get a plus one pet equipped so it's actually now going to be worth grinding to get 200 pets uh hatched or collected so that you can get that extra equipped pet so that means all of the ones you've had gold you can now go ahead and fish for the rainbow versions of them to climb that number up and all that good stuff so there's a lot of exclusives and immortals on the bottom now the possibilities dude oh my goodness look at this the jungle alligator in the rainbow form basically doubles the damage so yeah anything it looks like it basically almost doubles if it's rainbow from the original form not quite double on all of them but close enough where it's probably going to be strong and going to look really cool at the same time guys let's go ahead and collect this reward here that's always a good thing to do right there. So what I've been doing is basically just hatching, hoping to get lucky with these right here. Now, the Magic Eggs Pass gives you a 5% golden chance and now a 1% chance to get a rainbow pet, which is actually kind of helpful, especially for someone like me. With 3.5 million eggs hatched, I hatch a lot. So I'm probably going to get a decent amount of these, but they haven't been coming as quick as you would think. Uh, the exotics seem like they are a lot harder in this world, even though they've recently been bumped up to be a little bit easier in past updates. They're still pretty hard in this one right here so pretty nice and i'm hoping to actually fill out the team and get one of these right here and two more immortals so ideally uh i'll be good to go on that front so we have some exclusive eggs here to hatch i have two of them and we're gonna hatch them today hoping that we do get some rng luck and get that 2.5 percent chance so whew, let's go ahead and open this one up right here and let's see what it is oh it's the electric fish okay i don't know what that one is uh i think it's the worst one so we got one more right here to hatch will i have the nope it's another lex nope there it is but you know what it is still pretty cool for collection and all that stuff so let's scroll down and take a look so the electric fish does 1.3 million okay so it's all right it's all right it looks like i got the shock dragon last time so i'll go ahead and lock these i like to keep the exclusives locked up so i have another pet added to my inventory and that's not a bad thing but now to go into the world guys just to recap you start out here it's not that bad to open this door it's only a hundred thousand gems you get that pretty quickly actually but then this is it the new area and obviously they're gonna have more unlocking here soon so if i put my guys on auto check out some of the damage right the balloons aren't that crazy they're actually not that bad whatsoever as far as total health goes the these guys have 9.3 billion um 25 billion on the gem thing which is kind of a lot there's no chest or anything in here to show you but it seems pretty reasonable right they're making it so it doesn't take an eternity to grind the coins because ultimately this isn't the fun part of the game um you grind you have to get coins you grind them to get the resources to actually make your skills so i don't even have enough right now to make my skills i got 12 magic essences and 14 flowers so i'm getting close but ultimately you want to get the coins so you can just get the hatching on and get the good pets guys so i'm excited for this one to actually rainbow the team up upgrade the skills and then go into the dungeon and see if i can top my best level which now there's a nice stat menu to show me my highest floor is 140 and that's uh pretty good i think i should be able to get a little bit higher with that another thing is when you go to the spawn world little tip here guys you could actually go to the upgrade server machine right here or find a server that has the boost going already you could pop a global damage boost and that will help you out in the dungeon as well so keep that in mind pop that pop your damage potion and you're good to go you'll be able to go in and you know hopefully get pretty high level so here we are on the leaderboards i'm number 19 right here 3.58 million so doing pretty good on that and for the damage in the dungeons it's not super high but it is on the leaderboard regardless number 61 and of course number fives on the gem so we're looking solid on that front guys so that's it for the popping simulator update is there anyone in here there's a guy with zero zero there's this guy right here let's see if i could go ahead and give someone 
some of these pets here. All right, so I just joined a new server and I asked them in the chat and I got a couple requests right here. I said, hey, who would like a strong pet to help grind? So here we are right here. Let's go ahead and accept and let's give this person some of these right here that we hatched. So we're gonna give them a nice little load right here. We're gonna give them five magics actually. And we're gonna help them out with a full team of the best magic pets in the game right now. Probably gonna help them out because a lot of people in here, low eggs, low gems, they're probably new to the game. So let's go ahead and give some more right here. All right, I told him to open trade. I got you, fam. We're gonna give you five right here. So congratulations to you. There you go. So there's five to two people in the server. If anyone else opens trade, I'll give them another five magics as well. Cause it's gonna help new players out <laughs> having that much pet power right off the bat. I wish I had that when I started the game. Here we go. We got one more guy to give a pet to. Just started the game. And I noticed the chat also shows the number of the leaderboard on it. That's actually pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and give Monkey five of these as well. I mean, come on, guys. Absolutely insane here. So let's go ahead and accept this right here. Oh, my goodness, dude. Look at that. Look at that. This player literally just started the game, had new pets. Now they're able to just go tear stuff up. Awesome, guys. Very good. So that's all I had for today, guys. I'm going to give Peppermint their pets because they never got them. They lagged out. And yeah, pretty fun. Part of the fun of this game, sharing the love with everyone. So makes it fun. So that's all I had. Thanks for sticking with me. And remember, until next time. Stay positive, keep hatching, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.